Hey, I'm Kyle, and you're watching the new Flan Hobbyist. Newfoundland Hobbyist is sponsored by Paul'sFinest.com, Mid Island Motorsports located in Springdale, WildMedKits.ca, and Robinson's General Store located in Middle Arm. feet of water.
Man, that's a sense of a boat, isn't it? See there on the kit screen below what's going on there? Okay. As soon as I get the I'm going to uh, pay out the tune. Well guys, welcome back to another episode of Newfoundland Hobbyists. It is later in the evening, as you can see, the sun is near down. Dad and I are out here, and uh, we're out for lunch. We're gonna cook up some good food. I got the cast iron pan here. You see, we came up in the boat. It is just a gorgeous night. No wind, uh, still up 20 degrees, high teens or so. A little bit sultry, but just, just a beautiful night. No wind, just awesome. But I'm getting a little hungry. We're gonna get on a lunch here. Got that custom knife here that we built last year from the Newfoundland Hobbyists. You know, that's the beautiful thing about having a real special heirloom quality knife and that's that's something that I've held on to ever before I got into knife making um, is having a tool an axe a knife or something like that that is that is with you that is your knife that is your axe I love the idea of having a, a grandfather pass down his shotguns that has been on uh, too many hunts to count with him or or a knife that he's skinned uh, a dozen or two dozen moose with over decades of hunting. To me that's so special. Now the design saw I'm using is actually quite traditional. I'm gonna build something that's called, uh, some people call it a puko, I think it's similar to a, a tommy knife some people call, it. and that is you have a nice straight back blade, very simple, nice long straight edge, probably around a four inch blade length or so, and then you cut into a reduced tang, Now since this is my very own, that means I drew up the sketches to my taste, I drew up the design and dimensions and shapes to my preference, the length here is exactly what I want, I have a reduced 
tang style knife you can see and then we're gonna get some brass bolsters on here I, I just I expect this thing to turn out really really nice Oh, you got butter. Well, mine's not butter. <laughs> I'm gonna make two sandwiches out of that. Uh, are you putting butter on the outside? Usually, when I fry them up in the pan. Oh, okay. All right. Then. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll take one of my slices and one of your slices. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. How's that coming across on camera, there? Good. Good. Excellent. <laughs> what <happened there? laughs> your hands are clean. Turn up the cheese. Clean it off like that. Did you bring any gloves?
a sense of honor. I have a good long stick there now. Wow. Doesn't look too bad to me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's not bad. As long as I get it all on there. The Newfoundland Hobbyist is sponsored by EdgeProInc.com, ABS Bussing, Middle Arm, By the Sea Inn and Cafe located in Kings Point, and Nobles Timmermere with locations in Springdale and Bay Verde. Bacon, cheese, and jalapeno sandwiches. They're not the tidiest, but man, they are good. Once these sandwiches are gone here, we got a little bit of a, a Newfoundland style treat. Some of you out of provincers might not know much about it, but you Newfoundlanders will certainly know. That tea is better than sandwich, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that tea is just... Oh, it's delightful. Oh.
still waters it now. Yeah, I know. I don't think it's going to work for it. How come? I don't think it's going to work for us. Boy, you keep on hold the course like that, be fine on it? Or are they going to burn in outside further down inside? That's the problem, yeah. They're going to be charcoal outside. Seal them up in that packet and lay it in. That's what I seen uh, Paul do. Make a little envelope for them. It's not so bad if they wouldn't froze. If That's they were the just dry. Yep. But if they're inside there, they wouldn't burn the same. They'd just get a lot of heat. Too late now. Unless you put more in. See that in that? That's it. Okay. We'll just reheat them a little bit. You ready to go? Yeah. Dried Caitlin. Taken right out of our waters here locally. No, with Caitlin, or at least with us, we don't skin them, you don't gut them, you don't dehead them. Nothing. They're just dry, just like they come out of the water. And you roast them and eat them whole, or we always did. I would eat the heads and all. Good birds. Mm -hmm. Good night over there. Down around, uh, what's up, Morley's. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we're just about done here, guys. <clears throat> well, we're just about done here, guys. Just sitting back enjoying the fire with our tea and our few capelin. And, uh, it has been a wonderful evening. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned something, or at least I hope you're entertained. As always, a big thank you to the sponsors who make this show possible. Oh, those Caitlin are good. Make sure you tune in next week to the Newfoundland Hobbyists. Have another one. <clears throat> oh, with that tea. Mm mm mm. Cut more if you want to look more. I say there's people down there that have seen this up here tonight now and wondering what in the world is. Okay. Fire bands on them. Hmm? Fire bands still on yes, yes. Uh, I don't know. Tell me you wake up one morning and this all burned over. <laughs> I guess we won't uh I kick this all out in the water before we get out of this, huh? Yeah, oh yes. Quick it changes, eh? Mm. Just from nutting to look at the breeze, just coming yep. out of the fire, kick right up. <laughs>